few weeks ago, a former first lady, Mrs. Michelle Obama, told her that she shared how she was going through depression and sometimes despair, especially when she sees the state of our beloved country, United States of America. Her vulnerability gave others permission to tear their own veils, tell the truth, and seek help as well. On today's show, let's talk about being vulnerable. Let's dive deep in mental health and why we must learn to use this God-given tool as a resource to healing. Welcome to Tear the Veil with Dr. Fumi. I am your humble host, the Princess of Suburbia, an African princess that's living in Diaspora, USA. A board certified psychiatric mental health, doctor of nurse practice with community clinics in Arizona. I am often called your life ambassador. I say your life rehab ambassador. And yes, your compassionate trauma care maestro. This show is where wellness flow will bring practical tools to help you leap from trauma to recovery by rewriting your life stories and re-engineering your legacies. Again, welcome to Tear the Veil with Dr. Fumi. So, let's talk about being vulnerable. A few weeks ago, our former first lady did what some leaders would view as weakness. She did what some leaders would say it is absolutely unimaginable. She tore her veil and spoke her truth about her mental health struggle. I tell you what, when I heard the interview, I was incredibly moved because many of you who follow me know my story. You know my story of struggle. You know my story of attempted suicide. You know my story of losing everything. Family, homes, houses, businesses, and being in total despair, not knowing what the next step is. Here you are, an African princess in America, becoming homeless. Here you are, an African princess in America, who felt guilty, who felt shame, who felt despair, who felt depression, who was going through absolute depression, continuous anxiety, not knowing what the next step is. Here you are, an African princess indeed, an immigrant in America going through crisis. Just like many of us right now are going through crisis all over the world. But because America and Africa are my homes, I want to talk a little bit about America today. It is amazing to see that the same America that we love, the same America that many across the continent admire. The same America that many, like us, came from outside to come here for a better future. The same America where people look at and look on as the milk, right, and the honey, where opportunities lie. This same America, it's not the same today. Now, this show is not about red, blue, white, green, or anything. It's simply about humanity. And so when I heard that she tore a veil, what she did was she allowed and she gave others permission to tear their veil to. Isn't that what this is about? Isn't that what this show is about? Our fearless visionaries, 18 women in that book, Tear the Veil, came up and began to tear the veil about their trauma. And they did not only tear the veil, they used that same tearing the veil to set up a platform, platforms for themselves, and begin to help others to recover. Today, vulnerability, at times we see in some of our leaders, they tend to think that being vulnerable is a weakness. 
But I dare to make a case for it today. I dare to tell you that as I began to tear my own veil of my mental um, illness experience, as I began to share as a princess living in diaspora, and as I began to go all over the globe sharing my own story, how I almost jumped off the Razano Bridge in New York. Do you know what happened? Many others began to tear their veils too. Many others began to come to me and talk to me about their stories. Today, I am a psychiatric mental health doctor of nurse practice because I chose to tear my veil. Today, I help others to recover in my clinics because I chose to tear my veil. I often wondered if I had not tore my veil. I often wondered if back in 1996, if I had not made that choice to literally just come out of behind of the despair and the depression. I wonder what would have happened to myself and what would have happened to my children. Today, my children are in their 30s and late 20s. And I look back at that same very night, 12 midnight, 1995, when I decided that it was over, when I had lost my businesses, when I had lost my home, when I had lost my money, when I had lost everything to a man that promised to love me for the rest of our lives. I remember the shame because I was one of the top employers on Staten Island back then. I remember the shame. And as I got up from his side and drove myself, kissed my children who were then four two, and I drove to the beach, I felt like it was over. But thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God that he stopped me. Because frankly, my my feet was the pedal and all I needed to do was release and the car would have tumbled down the Verrazano Bridge. Vulnerability is strength everyone. When you are vulnerable you exercise strength and not weakness. When you are vulnerable you give yourself permission to breathe in breathe out when you are vulnerable, you begin your journey of healing. When you are vulnerable, you allow others to also begin their journey of healing. When you are vulnerable, you set a stage, haha, <laughs> a platform, yet another platform for your life stories to become a legacy. Your vulnerability is your legacy to the world. It's your legacy to your community. It's your legacy to your children and your family. Your vulnerability is not weakness. And so when you listen to this, if there is any area of your life that you believe that it is time to tear the veil, would you consider tearing the veil here? We tear the veil with Dr. Fumi. Would you join me? And yes, Michelle Obama in tearing the veil. But I gotta tell you one story before I close out. About uh I guess about twelve months ago, somebody woke me up about her new book, right? And they said to me, they said, Well, look to the left. Look to the left and see who you find there. Well, I look to the left, I get Lo and behold, my latest book was right next to hers, Jenny Vale. Then I looked to the right and thought, boy, yet another book, Girl, Wake Up, was right there. And I'm telling you, it was an incredible honor to see that my book or my books were actually laid out right next to hers. 
Now, I'm not trying to glorify anything. I'm not trying, I'm not talking about politics here. I'm just simply talking about humanity. Humanity. Will you be vulnerable today? Will you choose to be vulnerable regardless of what people say around you? Regardless of what your culture said, because frankly, in African culture, we were not raised to be vulnerable. In fact, someone from the royal family, you were raised to be strong. But here's the thing that was different about my family, my own family. My parents taught us, regardless to be vulnerable, they taught us that vulnerability is strength and not weakness. Until next time. Be inspired, be motivated, be of sentimental value. Understand that you are the hero of your life stories. Do not allow anybody to write your story. Be blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.